Hello and welcome once again. And today the topic will be the secret frequencies that make magic successful. Or at least it really adds to the effect and the outcome. Now there are secret frequencies that a lot of people don't know about. Um, these have been more or less kept out of the mainstream for ever, I would say. It's only recently that a few actually know about it. The frequencies I'm talking about are actually tuning frequencies and they're also musical frequencies. As you know, the body is made up, or at least it used to be made up of around 80-85% water. More recently, with all the pollutions, etc., it's um, gone down to around 75%. So the body has started to, uh, modern bodies are a little bit more dehydrated than they should be. But the optimal range is around 80, 85%. Now, vibration is the key to all magic and the key to transformation because through vibration, everything resonates and it affects. Uh, particularly thought forms and changing also your DNA at a DNA level, whether you believe that or not. It's actually quite true, in my experience at least. Now we're going to look in particular at the solfeggio frequencies. Now, these were frequencies that were discovered about 1,500 years ago. And, whether you like it or not, they were actually discovered by Christian monks in the West. And so this goes back to the 8th century AD, actually. There was a monk uh, who was named Paul the Deacon. And uh, he created the original solfeggio scale. Uh, now we know it as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La. Okay, a T as well. Uh, but the original one actually started as Ut. And it was Ut, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La. And these are the key magical frequencies that really affect things. For example, the Ut has a frequency of 396 hertz. And if you resonate at 396 hertz, this helps turn grief into joy, and it also liberates guilt and fear. So this is one uh, very healing frequency. But we can also use it, for example, to uh, remove blocks and uncrossings. The ray frequency is 417 hertz. And this is brilliant for undoing situations and facilitating change. So once again, uncrossings, uh, removing roadblocks, but also facilitating change and so moving towards what we actually want to manifest. The me frequency is 528 hertz. And this is where transformation and miracles occur. It also helps repair your DNA. So it has a physical healing and transformation uh, ability as well. But the 528 hertz is what we use to really create big manifestations and so-called miracles. Um, and I'm going to teach you how to use these frequencies in specific rituals that I have used uh, for decades and that were taught to me as well and I have not seen this anywhere okay so it will be in, in my upcoming course for those that are interested and those who are not well you need not apply now the far uh, frequency is 639 this is really good to bring people together for uh, forming very strong relationships and also connecting uh, spiritually as one unit as a family the soul frequency 741 Hertz um, helps you bring up and find solutions and it cleans and solves problems so it is like a peacemaker frequency 
um, and it helps you move forward by kind of healing problems, finding solutions. So it's really good for rituals where um, you need to, uh, you need to fix a situation with relationships or with your boss or family member or something, and cleans the air out, and so you can start fresh again. Um, it's kind of like a repairing frequency. The last one is the La frequency, which is 852 hertz. And this helps return things to spiritual order. It is a true spiritual vibration. Okay. All right. Now, magic, when you intone in and when you do the rituals, uh, I've always said, and you've probably also heard it from other good sources, that the resonance and the vibration is key and here is the deeper key to it that i'm actually filling you in on and most of you don't know this these actual frequencies um, are keyed in to producing or aiding you to produce specific results okay now these sulfagia frequencies um, could be considered lost or secret um, throughout history, um, mainly because when they were first discovered about 1500 years ago, they were done so by monks. And so it wasn't really available to the layperson back then. And also people, um, as you know, back then people were very superstitious and also governments and uh, kingdoms and religions were prosecuting people for the slightest reason if they suspected uh, you were a witch or using witchcraft. So even these monks were keeping things secret in terms of uh, using them to affect change. Okay. Now in India, it is interesting, um, just diverting a little bit from this discussion, although it's still related. In India, uh, they have the equivalent to the solfeggio um, tonal range and that's called if I can remember correctly sagram I'm not sure if it's spelt uh, pronounced that way but uh, it's sagram I believe and they also use it in a similar way for healing and uplifting and a lot of their uh, so-called Sufis use it in their chanting and meditations. Now you can tune yourself back to perfect vibrations by using these frequencies. If we have a look at Nikola Tesla, Tesla sorry, um, you know he was a great genius and father of electromagnetic engineering. He once said if you only knew the magnificence of the three, the six, and the nine, then you would hold the key or a key to the universe. And why is this? Because the three, six, and nine are the fundamental root vibrations of the solfeggio frequencies. So it relates back to the vibration and these uh, magical sounds and tunes. Albert Einstein also stated, concerning matter, we have all been wrong. What we have called matter is actually energy, whose vibration has been so lowered as to be perceptible to the senses. There is no matter. All matter beings vibrate at specific rates and everything has its own melody. The musical nature of nuclear matter from atoms to galaxies is now finally being recognized by science. And this is why these frequencies are so powerful. They can literally bring you back to the original tones of the heavenly spheres and put your body into a very balanced resonance. So, solfeggio music is actually the key to the universe. And I have to agree with that, actually. You can either throw it away or you can use it to find healing and harmony, health and well-being. And you use it in magic. So these are the secret keys to the universe and making or helping magic work. Okay, just simply play the tunes. 
Um, I'm going to play you the, the sounds, although I don't really have great audio equipment here. Um, once again, when I release my course, which will be later this year, this is one of the modules, one of the powerful modules that will come with it to really supercharge your magic. How to use these uh, tunes and vibrations and the correct frequencies and what rituals, um, you know, to incorporate them in. This will all be revealed. Actually, let me back up there a little bit because um, come to think of it, the original Solfeggio scale was developed by a Benedictine monk in Italy called Guido d'Arezzo. And it was used by singers to learn chants and songs more easily. And then he discovered that there was a, a, a really uh, strong effect uh, both physically and spiritually. Physically, like I said, at a genetic level, through healing. Uh, and spiritually, he was making things actually uh, happen. And then later, the scale was um, kind of um, put into a hymn, you might say. And this hymn was a hymn to St. John the Baptist, which was written by... Uh, Paul the Deacon. All right. Now let's have a look a little bit deeper actually at the frequencies once again. So I have to do a round two here because um, um, I want to talk a little bit deeper about each tune or tone. And I'm going to play the tone um, after I describe it. So the first one will be Ut, 396 hertz. Now this is used to turn grief into joy. It also helps liberate guilt and fear. And this frequency liberates the energy on an energetic level and has beneficial effects on the feelings of guilt. It cleanses out the feeling of guilt, which often represents one of the basic obstacles to realization. Um, and you certainly can't perform solid uh, or good magic for yourself if you have all this guilt so it's a, a good release and it will enable achievement of goals in the most direct way so the ut tone the 396 hertz tone releases you from the feelings of guilt and fear also by bringing down the defense mechanisms um, you know when you have a lot of uh, guilt or fear you, you put up a lot of walls barriers around yourself and these defense mechanisms actually uh, hurt yourself they harm you more because they stop you from uh, channeling in the positive energies or the open doors because you just shut yourself in you lock yourself in so all the good things also cannot um, reach you the 396 hertz frequency searches out these hidden blockages as well which is really good also the subconscious negative beliefs uh, which are really hard to shake and ideas that have led to your present uh, situations whatever negative experiences you may have uh, found yourself or find yourself in now so the 396 hertz uh, tune or tone sounds like this Now, the 417 hertz, the ray, is used for undoing situations and facilitating change. So once again, this is the next main tone from the Solfeggio scale, and it produces energy to bring about change. This frequency is really good for cleansing out traumatic experiences and also clearing away destructive influences, particularly of past events or traumas. 
So when speaking of cellular processes, uh, the rare tone encourages the cell and its functions um, to work in a very optimal way. The 417 hertz frequencies will put you in touch with an inexhaustible source of energy that allows you to change your life. Okay, now just to get my fork here, this is how the 417 uh, hertz sounds like. Okay, the next one is the Mi, and that is the 528 hertz. This is uh, the transformation and miracles uh, frequency. It also repairs your DNA. I mean, it's truly a magical frequency. Now, this is used to return human DNA to its, or uh, its original perfect state. Whether you believe that or not, it really does have a repairing effect. This frequency brings transformation and miracles into your life done with the appropriate uh, magical ritual. I really do find that this works uh, powerfully for that purpose. Now, the process of DNA repair is followed, um, you know, with beneficial effects. Like you'll have increased amount of life energy, clarity of mind. Uh, awareness, awakened or activated uh, creativity, and you'll experience also uh, more ecstatic states like uh, deep inner peace, uh, feelings of dance and celebration as well. Now, Tone Me activates your imagination and creative centers as well. Intention and intuition to operate uh, for your highest and best spiritual purposes as well. And this is how it sounds like the 528 hertz frequency. Okay, well, actually, I'm going to leave you there so as not to make this YouTube video too long. But let's explore the other tunes and the effects later on um, if you decide to come on board with me. Okay, all right, then. Um, I wish you once again a really great weekend and the following excellent week ahead. Uh, soon we'll be in March. That's, uh, that's a sign that time really does fly. Okay, so have a good one. Take it easy, and I'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.